Ali Al Jeffrey is an advisor in the Technical Hydrogen Studies Division of the ADNOC Group. He leads several initiatives across the hydrogen value chain, from development all the way through to execution. And I'm delighted to say that he joins me right here in the studio. So thank you so much for being here. It's a pleasure to see you. Thank you for hosting me. Fantastic. Now, let's start with the basics. Why is hydrogen so important? Well, let me start by highlighting um, the critical role that hydrogen plays in the energy transition. Uh, experts estimate that by 2050, 18% of the world's energy demand will be met by hydrogen. And this is to decarbonize sectors that are not suited for electrical power, that are hard to abate sectors, such as um, mobility for, uh, let's say, aviation fuels and marine fuels. Uh, another example is agriculture and fertilizers uh, production. Another good example is steel making and other heavy industries. Uh, and this is why hydrogen is very important in the energy transition. Okay, but when we talk about hydrogen, there are variations. So what are the different kinds of clean hydrogen? <laughs> that's, a, that's a good question. So hydrogen is mainly produced uh, either from water or hydrocarbons. Green hydrogen is produced from water using renewable electricity. And um, as of December of last year, uh, ADNOC became a shareholder in Mazdar, a global powerhouse in the clean energy sector, uh, with a target to decarbon, uh, to produce 1 million tons of uh, green hydrogen every, every year, starting 2030. And uh, this will uh, remove an equivalent of 6 million tons of CO2 uh, from the atmosphere. And another way of producing hydrogen is uh, through uh, natural gas. Uh, and while capturing the CO2 in the process, and sequestering, sequestering it underground. And uh, we believe that this uh, form of producing hydrogen, which is called blue hydrogen, is a stepping stone to establish the value chain of hydrogen and pave the way for green hydrogen to take over in the future. Okay, but whenever we hear about hydrogen, ammonia enters the conversation. So you know, why is that? What, what is the importance of ammonia in the green hydrogen discussion? Well, another piece of the puzzle is how to transport hydrogen. Hydrogen is very light and difficult to transport and make it liquid. And here where ammonia comes to, to play. Ammonia contains hydrogen. It has an established uh, supply chain and value chain. It is a mature technology and it has a market, especially in fertilizers. And that's why we consider ammonia as uh, a way to, to transport hydrogen. And at ADNOC, we have already uh, demonstrated ammonia uh, transporting. We have already transported uh, blue ammonia cargoes to customers in uh, Europe and in Asia. And our commercial scale uh, ammonia production facility uh, is uh, expected to start uh, in 2025 to produce 1 million tons of blue ammonia every year. Okay. It's, it's interesting as well that you said that you're able to transport it because I know that there are people who are concerned about hydrogen, so this really knocks that, that, that element into the rough, that it's actually quite safe to move around. Exactly. There is an established uh, supply chain for ammonia. It, people know how to produce it, people know how to transport it, and we've done it for many, many years before. So it's very easy to transport in ammonia and in many other forms as well. And, and why is it important for ADNOC to be involved with clean hydrogen? Well, at ADNOC, we already produce hydrogen. We produce yearly 300,000 tons of gray hydrogen. So our experience in production of hydrogen, transporting it, and uh, supplying it to the end customers uh, makes us suited to be leaders in the uh, lower carbon versions of the hydrogen. OK, well, look, the hydrogen story will go on and on, and I'm sure that we'll be discussing it in even more detail at COP28, because you will be there, won't you? Of course, we will be present in COP28 and we'll be happy to tell you all more about hydrogen during the, that <laughs> okay, event. Well, that's the date. We're going to see you there in November to hear more about that hydrogen story. But there, sadly, we have to leave it. Conversation there with Ali Al Jeffrey, who's an advisor in the Technical Hydrogen Studies Division of the ADNOC Group, and he has a big story to tell going forward.